Continuing on, let me show you a little bit about the user home folder template and also about how it's organized and how one user can use the template to their advantage when they're trying to, say, share files with another user. First up, I'm logged in as my local administrator, and I want to just show you where the template comes from. So I'm going to use the Go menu, and I'm going to say, Go to Computer, go to Macintosh HD, into System, Library, and yes, there are many libraries in Mac OS X, and then scrolling all the way to the bottom, you should see a user template folder that has a red do not enter symbol on it. That means stop, don't go in there, or do not enter this folder. And if you double click on it, you'll see that you can kind of open up another icon view of it, but we can't get inside of it. So let's log out, close those windows, go to the Apple menu, choose Log Out Local Admin. And at the login window, I'm going to type in Hugh. Now I did create some more users besides Hugh, but we'll use Hugh right now. And if this is the first time you're logging in with a user, you are asked to sign in with your Apple ID. I'm not gonna sign in, I'm gonna skip that. We will see the setting up your Mac animation and then get into a, another default screen. Let's go right into his home folder by going to the Go menu and saying Home. We could have also used Shift-Command-H as shown here on the right. And I'm gonna make that full screen. And we can see that he has desktop, documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures, and public. Those are the traditional folders for the user home folder. Now there's one folder, and some of you may already know this, that's hidden here. It's the library folder. And I think the reason that it is hidden is that people used to get into the library folder and mess things up and call Apple support, and they got tired of the support calls, so they asked engineering to just hide it away. So how do we see it? Well, there's two different ways. I'm going to go to the Go menu again. And if you hold down the Option key while the Go menu is visible, you will see that there is now a library option. Now, there's no keyboard shortcut for it, but if we choose that, we jump into the library folder. And let me switch back to columns view. Again, this is going to help us see kind of where we are. That library folder has that same grayed out appearance that says this is a hidden item. Once you leave this item, you're not gonna see me again until you explicitly go here. Well, that's good for one-off things, for temporary things. We can browse around here and see things like if we have any log files of our own or if we need to go in and do some preferences troubleshooting, or if we needed to find something in, say, the application support. But what if we wanted our library folder to be visible all the time? Because, you know, we are really smart people, and we won't mess around in here without knowing what we're doing. So there is a way to do that. Go back to your home folder. This time we need to go into View Options which if you remember, it's also Command J, but it's under the Finder View menu. And as long as we're inside of the home folder, there should be a Show Library item down here. And I think it's because I am confusing it by being in Columns View. So I'm switching back to Icon View. The Show View options changes, and yes, now there is a Show Library folder option. So I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to close the Show View Options window, and hiding behind it is the Library folder. And if we go in there, you will see the same as before. There's some other folders which are optional, and again, I'm gonna switch back to the Columns view. Now we've got Desktop, Documents, Downloads, Library Music, Movies, Pictures, and Public. We can create a new one, Shift-Command-N, and call it Applications. Notice that it gets an automatic badge. It may be a little tiny for you to see. So if you use a command I to get info, you'll see the large icon has the applications badge. Any applications that you put into this folder would only be accessible and usable by Hue. And then last but not least is the sites folder. If you select your home folder and you shift command N again, we can make a folder called sites, press return, and it too has its own badge on it. This is where we used to put 
our personal websites. And if you are still using some web services, you can still make use of that if you want to. Now, most of the folders are fairly self-explanatory. The desktop is the folder that shows us the files that are on the desktop. So if we get out of full screen mode, temporarily create a new folder with shift command N called untitled, then go back to the home folder, go into desktop, you see there is the untitled folder. If we have selected desktop here in columns view and use shift command N, it will create a new untitled folder too, and it creates it simultaneously on the desktop folder. We also have something called public. Now public has a Dropbox in it. It's not much use for us to take something like this untitled folder too and drop it into our own Dropbox. Our Dropbox is accessible by us, but what about other people's Dropboxes? Well, again, columns view is very useful for finding this out, but let's go into this user's pennies folder. And notice that we've got the do not enter symbol on all of the folders except for public. If we click on public, we can see the Dropbox folder and we can take that untitled folder too and drag it to the Dropbox folder. We get the green button looking icon with the plus sign, let go. The file system will warn us that you can put items in here, but you won't be able to see them. That's because it's a Dropbox and we're just dropping something off there for Hugh. So let's log out as Hugh, and we'll log back in as Penny. And again, because this is her first time, we're going to have to go past a Apple ID screen. And let's use Shift Command H to jump right into our home folder, go into public, go into Dropbox, and there's that untitled folder too that Hugh dropped in here. And let's do a Command I on that to get information. And we can see that, yeah, it's just a folder where it's located and our sharing and permissions note, and I wanna show you this again later, but Hugh is the owner and has read and write permissions to this folder, but he really can't get to it because it's inside of Penny's Dropbox. And that's a write only area. He can put things in, but he can't see them. So that's the user home folder, both the organization of it and the template. We're going to be using the home folder pretty much forever with Mac OS X.